Adventure Aquarium. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell everyone a little bit about some of our African penguins that we have here. African penguins are from the southern coast of Africa. The majority of their colonies are located within the nation of South Africa proper. Um, and I'd like to answer some questions that people have posted for us today. So our first question is, do all penguins like the cold? And the answer to that question is actually no. There are 18 different species of penguins. African penguins are just one of those species, and there's only two, emperor penguins and Adelie penguins, that live in Antarctica all year round. So the majority of penguins are like our African penguins. They're a temperate penguin. They like the beach and sunshine and warm weather, so they're comfortable in an environment that you and I would be uh, more prevalent to live in. So what is our current population? How many penguins do we have here at Adventure Aquarium? There are currently 48 penguins in our colony. This is the largest colony that we've ever been able to exhibit here at Adventure Aquarium. How do I tell the penguins apart? The simple answer to that question is everybody has a bracelet that has a number on it. And that's our identification band. The easiest way to tell the penguins apart is by looking at that band and checking that number out. Now you can tell the individual birds apart based on the markings of their feathers. I do stare at them every single day of my life, so that makes it a lot easier for me to tell them apart since they do look similar. But you can tell them apart based on their spot patterns and how their feathers are oriented. Do the penguins have different personalities? Absolutely, there are some of the penguins that are very interested in what I'm doing and some of the penguins that would prefer to be swimming at this point in time. So it just depends on the individual bird and what their interests are. How long do penguins live? So their natural environment average lifespan would be right around 20 years, late teens or early 20s. In a zoological setting, possibly as long as 30 or even longer. Now the oldest bird in our colony is band number two. His name is Cliff, and he is 32 years of age. Cliff is the oldest bird that we've ever exhibited. So however old Cliff gets to be is gonna be our record. And we, our youngest penguins, are the three newest birds that we've introduced to the colony. They happen to be right here on my right hand side, 51, 52, and 53. And they're just about four months old and they're in their juvenile plumage. So that's how come you see that they're a little bit of a different color compared to the rest of the colony. What do penguins eat? We feed our penguins a variety of restaurant quality seafood, including capelin, herring, trout, and squid, and a couple of other varieties. In their natural environment, they would be eating different types of seafood, including sardines. And we like to make sure that we're giving them a variety of food items. Can penguins fly? Penguins are a bird. They do have feathers and they lay eggs. They have wings, but they cannot fly. So the main difference between penguins and flighted birds is the consistency of their bones. Penguins have solid bones that helps them to be able to dive up to 90 feet to be able to find their food. Flighted birds actually have hollow bones, so it makes it easier for them to lift their body up off of the ground. How do the penguins learn to swim and at what age? So penguins innately know how to swim. It is a instinctive behavior. And they typically are gonna start learning to swim right around three months or so. And the reason why they're waiting till that age to be able to swim is the consistency of their feathers. The penguins have to have waterproof feathers to be able to introduce to the water. Uh, when they first hatch out of their eggs, they have very soft down feathers, and those feathers are not waterproof, and it takes them between about 12 and 14 weeks before they are going to get their juvenile uh, waterproof feathers. So that leads us into our next question, what is molting? Now molting is when birds, all different types of birds, are going to lose their old or worn feathers and replace them with new ones. Now when the youngsters have their fuzzy chick down, it's just gonna fall out kind of all in big clumps and then they're gonna grow in their juvenile feathers behind that. Now they're gonna keep their juvenile feathers till they're right around about a year and a half or so, and then they're gonna go through their first full molt. Penguins have what we have call a catastrophic molt, and that basically means that they go poof, and all of their feathers fall out all at the same time, and they replace them with new ones. So during that molting process, the penguins typically are not swimming, and they are staying out on dry land because they are no longer waterproof. So they are going to molt about once a year, and right around 
around that same time every year they're going to molt, lose all their old worn feathers and replace them with new ones. And then finally, what is the silliest thing the penguins have ever done? Well, sometimes they're kind of silly when they're swimming and flapping around, making sure they have all their feathers organized and clean. They also like to collect things to take home with them. So if they can find anything that's fun to take home with them, they will do that. And that sometimes includes little branches or sticks. That sometimes includes some of the decorations that we've put on the exhibit before. And that sometimes includes things that they can steal from us or other random places. Uh, some of the silly, other silly things that they do is they chase flies and bumblebees all around the exhibit, which is kind of weird, but they think that it's fun. So we, I want to thank everyone for posting all of their questions. We really hurt, hope that you were able to learn something about our African penguins here at Adventure Aquarium. And we hope that you join us tomorrow at noon on all of our different social media platforms to watch a starfish feed. Thanks, everybody.